Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to have a look at one of the newest features to be added in the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp update version 1.1, the brand new garden area. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So Animal Crossing Pocket Camp version 1.1 is huge and there is a lot of new content with a lot of subtle changes too, but in this video we will be focusing on the garden area. So the garden area is a brand new location that is in fact attached to your campsite. To get to the garden you simply head west to the left hand side of your camp and walk straight in. I'm glad it's part of the actual camp, I was a little worried it was going to be like a separate location on our maps, but this way it makes it a lot easier for people who are visiting to stop by and check out our gardens. So the idea of the garden is to farm, grow and breed flowers which is awesome. Lloyd the gyroid is here to help as always and talks us through everything we need to know. Basically we have 20 different patches of dirt where we can plant seeds which is awesome and twice as much as I first thought from the previews a few days ago. So from the start Lloyd offers up some seeds and shows us how to plant them. It's pretty intuitive, you tap a location and walk over to it and plant a seed of our choosing. The flowers however are much like the fruit in the game and take 3 hours of real life time to bloom but of course there are ways around this. Lloyd offers us two methods of increasing speed, one of which is an item called flower food which is much like fertilizer where if you choose to use this will increase the growth by 30 minutes and of course if you use six of these flower foods you can grow your flower instantly which is really cool however I do suggest saving these flower foods for now just in case. The alternative is of course leaf tickets. You can pay Lloyd one whole leaf ticket to speed up the process by one hour so if you're on your lunch break and you want to farm your flowers early, I'm sure leaf tickets will come in very handy every now and then. There are many types of flowers available too, just like all previous Animal Crossing games, but we start off with some tulips before Lloyd introduces us a new way to breed flowers and farm seeds. Once your flowers are fully bloomed, you can choose to harvest them or cross-pollinate them. Harvesting flowers simply allows you to pick up your flowers as usual. With this, you can then save them up and trade in these flowers for potted versions of the flower to place around your campsite and things like that. That. Or if you manage to farm a lot of them, you can trade them for themed floral furniture such as bears, chairs, tables, fences, clothes and even garden ornaments such as those we saw as public work projects in New Leaf. The second option of cross-pollination allows you to use your recently harvested flowers and attempt to cross-pollinate them with some other flowers that you have already grown. This is fun but risky. You lose the initial flowers that you cross-pollinated but you have the chance of receiving a variety of rewards including super rare seeds. This is how we can create hybrids, breed new types and discover whole new flowers. Whilst in your garden you can also bring up your friends menu and visit other campers straight from your garden. Here you can head into other people's gardens and water their flowers too. It's really worth visiting too. Every time you water a fellow camper's flowers you are rewarded with a gift but what's even better is if you happen to see someone that has a really rare hybrid or a flower that you don't have yet you can cross pollinate with their flowers in their campsite and try to get your own seeds to plant for yourself when you get back. This is why Nintendo was really pushing the whole friend thing with the recent host the most event. So if you've not been one for visiting others just yet, now is a really good time to start. The menus are now even easier than ever to navigate. You can choose where you want to visit or where you want to return to with a single button press. It makes the whole experience nicer and a lot more quicker to get where you want to be. So yeah, the garden area as a whole looks amazing. I can see everyone will be spending a lot of time here and growing all sorts of awesome new flowers. It's great to see all new content being added to. This is just a small area but makes the daily routine of Animal Crossing even more engaging and super fun so hopefully everyone enjoys it. Also it's worth mentioning that the catalogue now features a flower section so you can go ahead and see what flowers you still need to grow. So yeah that's pretty much it for the garden area. I suggest planting as much as you can, farm as often as you can and visit as many friends as you can. Earn those rewards and let's see who can grow the rarest flower. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. There's so much to cover in this update, so I will try and get another video out during the week that goes over it all in a bit more detail. If you got this far in the video, please comment flowers just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And be sure to include what you think of the new garden area. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.